Hey all, JTC here. Welcome back to another Narrated Thoughts gameplay video, where I talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it live. Today, we're going to be playing Waystalker using One-Handed Sword and Hagbane. Now, there isn't really a specific synergy I'm going with between these two weapons. I just think they're really fun to use, so I want to use them. So I am. Now, when it comes to talents, we're going to be running um, temp HP on cleave because I prefer its sustainability over the alternate, which is temp HP on crits and headshots. Um, Bloodshot to get more bang for our buck when it comes to the Hagbane. Assassin, of course. And then we're going to be running Spirit Arrows, Azurai Focus, and Kurnus's Reward in order to have as much uptime with our Hagbane as possible because that's going to be our main source of damage. And uh, Hagbane's already good against... Um, large groups of enemies and large groups of armored, but we're going to be running Barrage on it to uh, boost out uh, some more boss damage on top of that. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the game. So as usual, we're going to start by blocking because of course I have no idea what I'm going into and um, I don't hear anything. Sometimes the game decides to, oh, here we go. Here's the sound. Sometimes the game takes a while to load audio, so sometimes you're going to know what you're going into just by the audio alone, but sometimes the game's not going to give you that audio, so you're going to have no idea what you're going into. So in this case, oh, we're actually at the beginning of a mission. Uh, that's actually pretty rare, so I don't have to block because we're just chilling. Um, I guess we'll see right here what our, oh, someone has already loaded in. Uh, so we have a battle wizard, a ranger vet, and a warrior priest. Uh, okay, cool. What's the ping looking like? Uh, well, a very good ping. I'm very happy about that. Um, what are they rocking? I can't see, uh, the battle wizards load out, but I can see what the, uh, warrior priest is running. He's running Reckoner and Tome and Hammer. So, okay, what's he running for his level 20, 30? Ah, beautiful. I love United in Prayer. I fucking love United in Prayer. It's by far the best, uh, level 30 talent for Salt Spire. <laughs> oh no, I'm fuck. I'm being recognized. Oh shit. That's always awkward when I get recognized. Fuck, I'm, I'm a little bit sus, guys. Sorry. So the main uh, attack pattern that we're going to be using for the one-handed sword is the heavy one and then the stab. Ow. Also, this, uh, I can already tell that this, um, this ping does not feel like 100 ping, so I'm going to have to play a little bit, uh, a little bit more defensively. Because, uh, the ping is not always going to be very accurate, and it's definitely not accurate in this case, because I can definitely feel the lag. But anyway, uh, the main damage dealing that we're going to be using for this weapon, uh, for single target is going to be a light attack, followed by a stab. There is an assassin on my face, and that's going to be able to give us the most, uh, DPS. Of course, we could just sit here and spam heavies, which would also get very DPS, but with this, um, I have a chance to hit the head twice, and with this, I'm doing an uppercut for the second attack, which means I can't exactly hit the head. It's not going to be possible. But with the uh, heavy attack and the light attack, the overhead and the stab, it's going to be a lot easier to hit the head, which is going to give us a lot more DPS. I hear a Blight Stormer. Oh, that's a Berserker. I don't like that, so we're just going to ult. Oops, I hit someone in the butt. I don't know why the one-handed sword is... Uh, or technically, I, I guess I know why the one-handed sword is two stamina instead of one stamina push. But honestly, I feel like the elven one-handed sword could use um, a one stamina or half a shield push instead of two shields or two stamina. Because it's not that powerful. It's not going to be that unbalanced. Uh, one-handed sword is not that bad of a weapon to begin with, in my honest opinion. Uh, so I don't think it needs a massive buff, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of a buff. Oh, good thing I... Ooh, that mauler was inside of the other, and I did not see that. That's unfortunate. Thank you, bot. I'm just gonna move back and drink. And now that we have barrage on our weapon, I'm actually just gonna spam left-click on this troll to get some boss DPS as fast as possible. We're gonna ult him to get some uh, extra ammo back. Now, when it comes to Hagbane, what some people don't know is that whenever you just spam left-click like this, there is actually no AoE. Um... So if I were to sit here and do this with a charged right click, that actually does um, have like a little AoE effect that'll affect um, enemies in a AoE around them, obviously. But if I just sit here and do this, there actually is no AoE to this weapon, and that means I have no chance of hitting my um, no chance of hitting my teammates. So honestly, there is no reason just to uh, spam heavies or do that attack. So I'm just gonna spam left clicks, especially to build some temp HP in this instance. Uh, that's unfortunate. Ow. Um, I don't know where these specials are, but I want some, uh, I want some more ammo. Hey, there's a special. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and pop that. Um, I still hear a Blightstormer. I don't know where he is, though. 
Ping stay in stable, so I guess it's just uh, an inaccurate ping reading this time. Um, I'm not really that great on my own in melee, so I'm going to stick with my team. I'm not going to rush forward. Barden's over here just standing with his back to them. Damn. Ooh, I don't like that. I want this... I want these, um... Berserkers dead. Oh, that's... Ah, that's, that's awkward. Okay, good. They got him. Also, I, that's actually really weird. The, uh... Oh, voice lines are, like, really uh, delayed for some reason, which is strange. Oh, he teleported. I'm gonna try to kill him. Two should kill him. I cannot get him in time, so I am going to just back up and be with my team. I'm gonna go to the left. Barden's down. There's never a reason you should ever um, extend for a bot, so I'm not gonna bother extending for that bot. Bots are not worth your uh, time ever in a million years. I'm gonna hope that kills the Lightstormer. Yes, I got him. Okay, hopefully that kills the assassin. I think I got him with two with two uh, hagbanes, but we'll see. No, I did not. Thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him. I'm gonna go after these uh, ammos. It looks like we're good to go. We're all here, so we should probably try to get going as fast as possible. So yeah, um, we'll deal with the hook when it gets up there. So not that bad. Not that bad. I did not see that Mauler uh, running attack. That Mauler running attack is by far the most deadly attack in this game, in my opinion, because it comes out really, really fast, and Maulers can start it from a very far distance away from you so that you can't see it, and it has the damage profile of an overhead, so it's just as deadly. Now, I could use my ult to get um free charge from them, but I don't, or free ammo, but I don't need it. I'm going to actually watch the door here. Uh, actually, I think... No, there he is. Oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna be watching... Nope. Uh, I think that... Yeah, that hook rat's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him with that. I hear another hook rat. I'm not gonna go first. Ow! Wow, that hurt. Am I running? Wait, what am I running on my necklace? Okay, bar skin. I thought I was running Nat Bond for a second. I was like, ooh, that would have been weird. So actually, uh, I'm not. I'm running Spirit Arrows instead of Amaranth, uh, and Nat Bond is actually not a bad idea for Amaranth. Uh, or whatever, Rejuvenating Locust, whichever, um, whichever one allows you to uh, regain 50% more of your health. That mixed with Nat Bond is actually not bad, and it's actually it actually gives a very good sustainability. Um, ooh, I need to be careful with the ping. Nope. So they're water falling down here, so I'm going to kind of just chill around here for some uh, temp HP gain. Ooh, please don't hurt me. I hear a hook rat, so I'm going to move to my team. I don't want to be caught off guard. I do have my ult up, which is going to be good to take care of that hook rat if he surprises me. Nope! I don't want that. Kill that gas rat. He should die to, D to DOT. Uh, so, Hagbane. A lot of people complain about Hagbane and say that uh, Hagbane's not worth it or Hagbane's annoying or Hagbane does a lot of friendly fire damage because of its friendly fire. It's, it's basically its AoE. Now, getting hit occasionally by a fire or by a dot cloud from Hagbane is not going to be the end of the world. It doesn't do that much damage. Now, I will say if you stack multiple Hagbanes, it does, uh, the damage starts to build up really, really fast. And it is actually quite annoying to go against it, I will say. So, um, I will still do my best to not hurt my team as much as possible because I do understand it is annoying and it can be, um, deadly, especially if I start to stack multiple, um, AoEs or if I, uh, drink a strength potion. Uh, she got that, which is nice. I hear another, uh, hook rat, so I'm gonna tag him with one. That's not gonna kill him. Just kidding, it actually will. This shows what I know. We're gonna use the heavy one to break these shields. Nope, we're gonna block that running attack. And then we're gonna just build some temp HP right now, because I'm kind of hurting for temp HP. So I'm just gonna mash light attacks. Same thing over here. We're gonna break the shield with a heavy attack. And then we're just going to mash light attacks for some temp HP, because I'm hurting for temp HP. He's already broken, so I don't need to break that. 
He's dead. I don't know where this assassin is behind, probably. No, in front. Actually, no. Where the hell is this assassin? Uh, they're coming from over here, so I'm going to start spamming. Now, you're actually going to notice that I am actually uh, kind of animation canceling the uh, animation for uh, firing. And if you actually finger roll your attack, so if you charge with right click, hit left click, and then immediately right click again, you will skip the animation, which changes the speed of Hagbane from this to this. And that's actually a way to get a lot of additional damage from Hagbane. All you have to do is just finger roll your attacks. Um, I actually have a video on finger rolling in my channel if you're interested. If I remember, I'll link that in the description down below so you can check that out. But it is a very, uh, it's a very easy way once you get the muscle memory down to, um, get more damage out of your, out of some ranged weapons and a lot of your melee weapons. I'm gonna, I tried to hagbane him just to stagger him, but I failed. Ow. I'm gonna pick these up, uh, cause it's just free ammo and I'm the only ammo user in this team, so there's no reason for me to not pick it up. We're going to shoot one to get the bloodshot value and get them over here so I can start attacking them. Oh, I almost dodged right off the edge right there, which was awkward. Go for headshots because I have assassin, which uh, makes short work of that berserker. Once more, we're going to hit uh, the ground one time to get their attention. Now when there's a group, I'm actually going to back up. I don't want to deal with that. We're going to wait until he's done, and then we're going to push in. That assassin's behind this wall, so I'm not really too worried about him right now. We're going to shoot three. Uh, really, I think you only, with my build, you only need two uh, Hagbanes to kill a special. There's a lot of leeches for some reason. Aw, oh, I thought he teleported right there. That was my fault. Where leeches down there? So we're still rocking a baby bard and bot, which means we're probably going to, uh, we're probably going to be down a player, uh, during this, uh, end event, which is going to turn out to be a little rough, but I think we could do it. We just have to play smart. Might as well go ahead and get a Hagbane up there, because I do know there is a guaranteed, um, ammo spawn up there. So there's no reason for me to just go ahead and use... Oh, I'm failing the finger roll. There we go. Uh, once more, I'm trying not to shoot at my team because I know it is annoying to get shot by Hagman, so I'm going to do my best to not. That's a lot of armor, so I'm just going to bomb. I don't care. That should kill this these uh, elites here. Nice. We have a lot of horde clear between me and the battle wizards, so hordes aren't really going to be too much of an issue. Hey, there's also a free ammo right here, which means I can not jump up there because I failed horribly to do that. Also, I duped my bomb with Bombardier, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go into melee to protect ourselves. We're going to go ahead and just left click on that leech to not hit the uh, warrior priest with the AoE cloud. And once more, I'm not worried about ammo conservation at this exact moment because uh, we have a bunch of ammo boxes. We're just going to fire a few in here to try to see if we can uh, lure out any enemies standing there. All right, like that, two will kill him. Usually two, um, two Hagbanes to any special will kill them. Um, I don't, I don't know of the breakpoints off the top of my head to, like, recall them, but if you're running at least 10% armor, or 10% chaos and 10% skaven, you should, uh, kill a special with, um, just two Hagbane bolts. It doesn't matter if they're charged or uncharged. I hear a hook rat. We're just going to ult him. We're going to take care of this guy over here. Hello, rat. How are you doing? I missed the second shot, which is why he didn't die there. Hi, baby bard. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you get him, bard. Yeah, you get him. You get him, bard. Aw, oh, I believed in you, bard. That's my ammo. Uh, they're coming from up there, I guarantee you. Yeah, I can see them. So, once more. Uh, also, someone's joining, so we're going to have to change our tactics depending on how this person, uh, or what this person is playing when they join. So, let's see. We're going to ult those monks that I see out there. 
Uh, actually, Sienna is bubbled, so I'm going to freely Hagbane. Now, they are moving too far up, so I'm going to push up so I don't get disabled by something behind me. I'm going to let them take care of this. Uh, I don't want to be caught in a flurry, so I'm going to let them take care of this, and I'm going to ult, or I'm not going to ult. I'm just going to left-click spam when I have the ability to. We're going to ult one of the maulers. Coming behind us, he's dead. Another one behind us. Ooh, I got him still. Oh, hello. All right, so we actually have a Merc Kruber, which is a really nice front line. I do not mind having a Merc Kruber. And having this, um, having that extra 10 HP is going to be beautiful. This is actually a really solid team. I'm liking this. Um, well, uh, he's also running handgun, is he not? So, yeah, we actually have uh, some special sniping now. And, I mean, like, to be honest, uh, but actually, no, we had bat we had sniping to begin with because Battle Wizard's running, um, I'm assuming, Volcanic Horse Bolt Staff. So, we actually have, um, plenty of, uh... Horde killing and sniping, because Battle Wizard and I are kind of in this weird situation where we traded, um, where we traded roles where she is the, um, special sniper and I am the horde killer. Uh, we pulled that patrol, so I'm just gonna start spamming not to hurt the, um, not to hurt the super armor. Uh-oh, that's bad. That's bad. Um, I'm gonna back the fuck up. Uh, this is bad. I'm gonna drink, and, uh, I'm gonna start trying to kill as many of these guys as possible. Holy shit. Um, we're just gonna try to sneak around right now. I need to be careful killing you with my ult. I need to be very careful with how I go about this. Holy shit. Um... I'm going to have to ledge them if I actually want to get anybody up. Don't fuck me up. I think I hear a hook rat. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to skip this, and I'm going to have to do a drop down res if I want to actually get these guys. That is going to shut the door, unfortunately, I think. No, I'm just kidding. I'm dumb. Um, it's not going to shut the door until I ring the bell. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and do this. I'm going to do one to stagger them, and then I'm going to jump down, and I'm going to get this mercenary as fast as I can, and then I'm going to leave. Whenever, uh, actually, I'm going to explain that because I'm kind of focusing right now. Uh, I need to be very careful. Fuck me. All right, so I'm going to have to do that again. So I'm going to have to do this all over again. Uh, we're going to jump on top of this. I'm trying to kill the maulers with this. I'm not trying to do any armor damage. I'm trying to kill basically the little guys. I'm going to explain why I flick up here in a second. Um, it is time for me to once more do this. They're going to try to cut me off, so I'm going to push so I don't get cut off. Thank you for sliding backwards. I appreciate you, and I love you with every fiber of my being. I am concentrating really hard right now, by the way. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to be able to... I'm going to have to once more do this. I want to get up uh, the battle wizard this time. So I'm actually going to hop on the right side this time over here. I'm going to go ahead and get some free damage here on those little guys. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm a little laggy, although I'm going to ult to try to kill some Chaos Warriors. I'm going to jump on here, stall for time. I'm going to get the Battle Wizard up first. And I have time to get the uh, Warrior Priest up, and this should be a save. Uh, they are bubbled, so I am just going to freely ult, or freely use my uh, this. Uh, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to I'm going to do a um basically a heavy one and then a block so I don't end up eating extra damage. Woo. Okay, so you'll notice that whenever I'm going against Chaos Warriors, I am going to ult and when I ult, I flick up right before I ult. Oh, that's awkward. I flick up right before I ult. And the reason I do that is because when you um, ult and you flick upwards, your true flight volley is actually going to go straight in the air, and they're going to hover back down, or they're going to um, go back down uh, to the target that you're locked onto. And when that happens, um, it's actually going to aim for the head. They're talking about me in chat. 
But um, yeah, so whenever you lock onto an enemy with that red outline, uh, the True Flight Volley is going to actually uh, focus on that enemy. And if you flick upwards, the uh, arrows are going to go straight up into the air, and then they're going to arc towards the uh, creature and then go back downwards. And whenever that happens, um, it's going to aim for the head of the Chaos Warrior more often than not, and you're going to get three headshots, which in most cases is actually going to kill the Chaos Warrior. I wonder, I wonder if I, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them. <laughs> we'll, we'll mess with them a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Mom! Alright, so, no, now everyone's gonna know I'm fat. Oof. That's unfortunate. So, I'm actually gonna be up here, because I want to get some free Hagbanes on these guys. And then when they start coming down, I'm going to fall back to my group. Uh, they're, uh, they've already pushed up, so I'm going to push up here as well. Not really too worried about this yet. Uh, this first part's super easy. I'm not too worried about it. There's not really too much to say in this case. Um, yeah, there's just trash enemies over here. Oh, but you know, this man runs strike together. I would simp for this creeper any day of the week. Uh, I don't like those shields. There's too many to deal with, so I'm just going to do that. Once more, um, I'm going to aim on this guy, and I'm going to flick upwards, and they're all going to hit his head, which get, be, makes for some beautiful, beautiful damage uh, that you normally wouldn't get if you were just to uh, ult in their face. Um, There is a boy right there. I missed. Nope. Can't afford... I'm gonna need to save some, um, I'm gonna need to save some, um, ults for, to kill some specials, because I'm kind of hurting, or elites, because I'm really hurting in, um, ammo capacity right now. We're gonna go back to our normal heavy stab, since I'm not really in danger of getting one shot. Troll. We, they might just decide to leave him alive. We're going to go ahead and ult him, get some ammo back. I'm not really too worried since I am invulnerable right now. If anything, having him down is going to make this a little easier to deal with. Nope. Uh, Got to be careful. Okay, we should be able to to uh, le uh, ledge him. What am I saying? Uh, I, I'm, I'm literally blanking. Uh, bring him down. Go for some headshots to build that DPS on him. Unfortunately, I didn't have the entire team with me, so I didn't do enough damage. So I guess I'm on boss damage right now? Oh, she drank her conch pot, which is nice, because this is going to help a lot. I hear a leech up. Nice, so he, he will die next time. I thought I got that, but I didn't, so I'm just going to back up. Um, I'm just going to ult this and hope I'm going to hit the gas rats. I missed. Fuck. Uh, I got to use these sparingly. I'm going to shoot one to help my team. Okay. Uh, Warrior Priest overextended, unfortunately. He's gone. That was a good bomb on the Sienna's part. I don't want to deal with these guys' face up front, so I'm going to be careful. But the teleport lets me go full offensive again. I think Sienna's going to go for the res, so I'm not going to bother going for it. I'm going to watch her back with a quick Hagbane. Oh, that's bad. I don't want to get surrounded. I'm going to back up. There is a hooker. I don't know where the hooker is. He's right there, ulting. Oh, there's two. I did not realize there were two. Um, he's not really doing much shooting down there, so I'm not. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna bother hurting him. Also, I'm. I don't like this. There's too many to deal with. I'm just gonna drop. Kirby can follow me or not. It's up to him. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Uh, so there's really, it should, there should only be one more uh, wave until the end here. So we're almost at the end. 
Uh, after the monks is when the uh, timer begins to tick out. And here we are. I'm just going to ult because why not? Because we are at the end. I am invulnerable, so why not just go balls to the walls? And with that, that is GG's. So yeah, all around pretty good run, I gotta say. Uh, eating that overhead or that running uh, thing from the mauler at the very beginning was unfortunate as fuck. But other than that, uh, I clutched it, and even though I didn't expect to have to clutch it this game, and yeah, it went well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, fuck, I'm I'm reading. It's I'm I'm reading chat and it's ruining my uh outro but uh thanks for watching y'all if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe for more vermintide content in the future and yeah hopefully i'll catch y'all next video peace y'all have a good rest of your day